Over 20,000 people played this level, and only a few of them beat it even though it's easy. And even less people were able to beat this level that's actually hard. And I'm gonna beat both levels in this video. The creator designed this level to be confusing. They put invisible blocks everywhere, a hidden path that leads to a fake ending of the level, and a hidden one-up mushroom that you need to get somewhere on the level for the clear condition. And you also have to find two keys. So here's how I beat the creator's puzzle. I have to navigate through the invisible blocks and avoid the trap set by the creator. The first key is extremely well hidden. The creator makes the player think they can't get out of this hole with these invisible blocks here, so you would think to skip this part. But in the pipe, there's actually a hidden key by destroying this thwomp. There's a falling invisible block with a pow block to destroy the thwomp, and then I grab this hidden bob bomb and take it back through the pipe to time a perfect throw and destroy the blocks without blowing myself up. Oops. So the creator put the hidden one up mushroom by this pipe that doesn't lead anywhere, and it completes the clear condition. And now, there's one more key that's hidden in this section in a weird spot. There's an area coming up with platforms that are activated by thwomp enemies that are off screen. One of these off screen thwomps has the key. So I uncover a line of invisible blocks and make a path so I can take this hidden pow to the furthest thwomp and destroy it to get the key. And after getting a fire flower power up, I can skip this long boss fight with a damage boost, and then I have to pick the correct pipe out of 34 options. If you follow these steps, you too can beat this level. But this next level is hard even if you know how to beat it. Each jump gets progressively more complex, and this guy looks like a pancake. I have to line up perfectly with the pancake guys. Like in this part, where hitting this block launches this shell so I can jump off of it midair here. And I line myself up with this shell so that when I kick it, I bounce off it. I catch this box and throw it under this skip squeak so it has a platform to jump from, which allows me to jump off at midair. Now, I need to make it to this pipe that's blocked off. This P-switch is about to be activated by something off screen, which will drop this shell so that I can jump off of it and go back to enter the pipe that's no longer blocked by the P-blocks. And now the level gets even harder. This shell bounces around to line up with me just before falling in the abyss. This guy looks like a pancake when I jump off of him, subscribe if you like pancakes. And I stall in the air to bounce off of this and this enemy. Activating the on off switch drops the enemies and springs for these midair jumps, and I barely avoid this ice goal by precisely adjusting my jump. And after hitting all of these blocks, I'm able to line up with this falling skip squeak and barely make it onto the platform. I jump on these two springs and the enemy, and I get in the Koopa car. And by driving the car into this block, it launches both this skip squeak and spring so I can reach this pipe. Now, the setup for this next trick is something I haven't seen before. Climbing to the top of this tree releases a one-up mushroom to bounce the skip squeak in perfect position to jump off of. I use the shell for a tight mid-air jump, stall in the air and land on the spring, and then jump off this skip squeak into the pipe. And as I make this final jump, remember that whenever I achieve something like beating a hard level, I like to celebrate by putting something up on my wall that symbolizes my achievement. So since I blew up Mario, I put a blown up Mario on my wall. <laughs> hey, do you want free caffeine? Well for the next 24 hours you can use my code LILCURBS and get free samples of GG Energy with free shipping. After the 24 hours, you can order more using my code for 10% off GG Energy tubs if you like it. Check the link in the description. The flavors are yummy.